and that was the wonderful performance from the Society for Performing Arts in Nigeria called Wonders. They did a lot to show us the different things that we should appreciate about ourselves as people. And of course, you know that art is life. Art is a mirror with which we look, you know, we, we're using seeing through life and understanding all that concerns life. And I believe personally that art is beautiful. Art is wonderful. Art is life. And you can see me being all artistic in all that I do. Now, speaking of art, I have a wonderful person with me here today in the studio. Now, he is artistic, he is an entertainer, he is a fashion entrepreneur, one who has done so well. I am bragging about this person because he's a young person in his 20s and he's doing good. He always has this phrase of, it's fine, it's gonna be fine. And even when it doesn't look like it is, it will forever be fine. With me today in the studio is Tochi Ugwala. Hello, Tochi. How are you Hello, doing? Hello, Mr. I'm well. Thank you, you for having you me. You look great, by the way. Thank you. <laughs> so do you. You look amazing as well. You look like the next thing after jello fries and sliced bread. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. What's up? How are you doing? I'm well, How's I'm your day today? i uh, been, been a very busy day, as always, just going from one place to the other. But yes, happy I made it. So tell us, who is Tochi Ugwala? Um, Tochu Gala is, um, he's someone that's non-conforming. Mm -hmm. He likes to, um, bring his own drums to the event and play them so that he can dance to the type of dance he wants to. Mm -hmm. Uh, he, Tochu Gala is very passionate about people finding their individualism. So, um, I'm very passionate about if you weren't thought that this is how you should behave, if you weren't thought of that this is how you should act, who would you be? So um, I'm, I'm very passionate about finding the individual behind every person that I meet. Okay, so now, as someone who is in the fashion space and who has actually done only really having a niche for himself, we're going to be discussing, you know, um, pop, the pop culture, fashion, the pros and the cons. And now, we always have to deal with pop culture and fashion trends. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And we've always had people say, this is how I like to dress. Mm -hmm. This is how I feel I should dress. Now we have controversial people like Bob mm -hmm. in the fashion space today. Mm -hmm. And people are saying, they call them cross dressers. Mm -hmm. Now we have some other people who are defying the odds. Now mm -hmm. women are wearing Ishiago mm -hmm. mm -hmm. as dresses, mm -hmm. abad, you know, Agbada dresses. Yes. And we still, at the beginning, people went like, no, you're not supposed mm -hmm. to do that. If you're going to say this is okay, then very soon a woman will pay the Uja. And Igbo Nadi is going to go, how? Why? What do you think about pop culture and, you know, fashion trends? Hey, what, what's the relationship? And what is that thing that we're calling a contrast that shouldn't be? Okay, for me, I think that, first of all, I think it's maybe because we're, we're calling it fashion, I would, I would choose to call it style because style is basically how you wear fashion. That, that's how I should choose to define it. What you're wearing, this is your style. If someone else was to wear this, the person would probably wear it in a different way with different accessories and different everything. Mm -hmm. So um, that being said, yes, there are some standard fashion statements like, oh, he's a cross-dresser, which is basically a guy wearing female clothes. But at the same time, um, we have some traditions, some cultures. For instance, the Scottish people wear, the males wear skirts, which if you were to translate it here, you say, oh, they're cross-dressing. Even though, yeah, even though now we, we tend to interpret the skirt and, and try to find the masculinity about it, but basically still skirts. And then we have our fathers that tied wrappers. And the women also tied wrappers as well. Um, the only the difference would be that the men would tie their wrappers below their waists and the, the women would tie their wrappers uh, from their chest. But the silhouettes are still the, the same. So. The lines, in as much as the, the, the lines are very defined, they are still, there's still like a chance to cross over if you wanted to. So for me, I, I just feel like the pop culture, the fashion culture, whatever it is, just find what makes you very comfortable, what, what makes you feel in your elements and just wear that. Okay, we're going to hold that thought from Tochi Ugala. He said, you should find whatever makes you comfortable and stay in them. The conversation still continues, but let's go on a quick break. And when we come back, Hello Nigeria continues in a moment. Don't go away.
and welcome back on the show. I'm still here talking with Tochi Ugala, the fashion designer extraordinaire. Now, Tochi, you were telling me about people being comfortable in their own skin, you know, and in their own space. And now we have people, you know, making fashion statements, like I mentioned the Ishiago mm -hmm. being worn by women mm -hmm. now. Mm -hmm. And, you know, people just doing things mm -hmm. in ways that one not imagine. I, I remember seeing the Oni's wife wearing a, a beaded, mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm cross mm -hmm. she was wearing the original um beads with cross made of you know this cross the rosary mm -hmm. and all mm -hmm. of that and mm -hmm. it looks so beautiful now what are the things that we should look out for when creating our own style should it just be according to you wear yellow with blue that's how it's done don't wear it with any other color you will look crazy should we go with that or we should actually find ourselves in fashion and art and work with this as it suits us like you said Okay, I, th I think th that's why I keep, I, I, I will still keep saying I would like to choose the word style because style is basically how you wear fashion, you yourself. So uh, take for instance, we have artists like Lady Gaga, for instance. Um, you know, like she's, she had this very things that people would call weird type, type of dressing. Making a dress made of meat. Yes, but the thing is, because it was her style, because it was her, Lady Gaga could pull it off. It, it, it was to, this, to the point where if someone else was trying to pull it off, they would tell you, mm -mm, that this is only meant for Lady Gaga. So as for people using Ishiago to, to make dresses, as for people, I've seen people wear that and they look awful. Trust me, they look <laughs> horrible. And then there are some other people that wear it and they look amazing. Yeah. So I think if it's your style, if you've been, if for instance, if, if a woman has always wondered, why can't, why can't I wear Ishago? I love the, the prints, I love the richness. It's, it's the velvety richness, I love it. When you finally wear it, it will reflect. It will show a balance in your personality. It will sink in. So that way, it doesn't look out of your style. So basically, still style. Mm. So style is just you finding the fashion that works for you and sticking to it. Okay, so a while ago, I, I once spoke to a designer concerning the Met Gala. Mm -hmm. The Met Gala that, you know, mm -hmm. we've had Nigeria hold mm -hmm. Met Gala themed events, mm -hmm. you know, some movie premieres mm -hmm. and all of that. Now, if, if we are going to talk about that, mm -hmm. some people have the opinion that if you're going to go to a Met Gala themed event, for example, that you should follow what the Europeans and the Westerners would do. Now, I, for example, if I was going to appear at the Met Gala in, mm -hmm. in America, Honey, I am going to be an Igbo princess, mm -hmm. and I would have my beads. I'm mm -hmm. going to tie it up here, mm -hmm. tie it down here, mm -hmm. and make sure it's all nice and good. Mm -hmm. And I will wear my jigida beads all over my waist. Mm -hmm. Make sure that I pop all mm -hmm. the way up mm -hmm. with my very long, you know, horse tail whip on my shoulder, <laughs> walking <laughs> high and tall. I'm not wearing any English gown. So, so I told them that, and they went like, how can you do that? It's not done. But that was my question. That, mm -hmm. that was my opinion, mm -hmm. you know, about it. So, is it wrong? Okay, so here's the thing. So, you're going to the Met Gala in the U.S., for instance, and then you're, you're going all out. You are not following the, um, the trend for the Western Met Gala. Yes? But then the Met Gala is just about breaking rules. Mm. It's, it's about creating new opportunities and exploring them. So if you were to appear like that, you would absolutely steal the show. Because then um, you are breaking the, their rules. But if it was happening here, everyone would be like, okay, yeah, she came as a princess. Yeah, we've seen that before because it's our culture. Mm -hmm. So it wouldn't be breaking the rules, so, so to speak. But if you were you know, going to the Met Gala in the US and you dress like that, definitely you would you have broken all the rules. <laughs> Yeah, you, you could do this. And, that, and, that, and, that's what, and that's what the Met Gala is about, just, just breaking the rules. So you, you took our tradition here, went up there, yeah. and then you broke, the, you, you broke their rules. And, and, and that's, that's fine. So Met Gala, that's just break the rules, find new, new ways to bend the rules. Okay, and so that works. Even when you're breaking the rules and you want to find new ways, or fi you're finding new ways in bending the rules, mm -hmm. what are the things that you should do and the things you shouldn't do? Um, there is no do and don't. Why? Because there shouldn't. Okay. Um, here's the thing. Who made the rules in the first place? 
I mean, even though we, we have some standard rules that, okay, this shouldn't happen, this shouldn't happen, you shouldn't wear black with this, or you shouldn't, but I've seen people break codes and it works. So if you, if you are still, as a designer, when, when I create, for instance, the Met Gala event, I was hosted in Nigeria, I designed a dress for Ezin Nafa, who is a beauty blogger here, and um, when, when, I, when I was doing her, her outfit, I just took her style. She likes very simple, clean lines. But at the same time, um, she, she doesn't like rules. So what did I do? We just incorporated a dress and a jumpsuit, and it went viral. Um, that is almost breaking the rules, because I mean, why, why would you have a dress and a jumpsuit at once? It's, it's weird. One, one, one side dress, one side jumpsuit, but it worked. So um, there should be no do-dos and don'ts. Just go all out and find yourself, find your voice, find your style, find what makes you think. If you decide that you want to be tying your, your hair to like 10 feet up, do it. It's not. Like Nika. It, that, 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 there's no problem with that. If you decide <laughs> to be wearing braids like, like Ara, yeah. um, that, do it. It's, it's, it's fine. Okay. So on, on this part of trend still, mm -hmm. some people have said cost have been a huge hindrance for them mm -hmm. when it comes to finding their style. Mm -hmm. Now, what are the things that you can do? Because it's all the internet we're seeing, uh, you know, how to have this wonderful look with just 5K. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, seriously, <laughs> seriously, how do you achieve that? Now, we understand that in Nigeria, there are many places where you can go to. You can afford to do your aswani on Tuesdays. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And you will see some awesome pieces, though. Mm -hmm. Things that you will not see in Balogon in normal day. Mm -hmm. And you will see them at a cheaper price. Mm -hmm. Now, how do you put together? For example, I was shocked to discover that Waje's look for the fourth um, Republic mm -hmm. movie premiere was, in, she didn't even get a stylist. It was a matter of, you know, what she had at home. Mm -hmm. She just picked it up here, this one here, one abada here, and a scarf, and tied it up this way. And she had this look that everybody was shouting, mm -hmm. Winnie Mandela, everywhere. And we, she said it was some old stuff. And she put it all together, cost. How do we regulate cost in fitting with fashion trends? Okay, so uh, Nigerians, we have a way of, you. someone comes to meet you and says, Oga, I want to make this thing exactly as it is. And you say, this is how much it will cost. And they say, why? My tailor will make it for less. <laughs> now, <Taylor. laughs> now, let's be very, very honest. Good fashion, great fashion is not cheap. I, we, we need to understand that. Yes, you, you can look amazing on a budget, but amazing, amazing fashion is not cheap because uh, there's, there's lots of craftsmanship that goes into it. Uh, what I just look is actually pieces, like great pieces from different um, times of her wardrobe, like amazing pieces. So while the look was something she got from her wardrobe, but individually, these are stunning pieces by themselves. So yes, you, you can still look amazing on a budget. Don't, don't get me wrong. But I'm saying, um, if you want to find your style and live by it, and you want very timeless, elegant pieces, good fashion is not cheap. And, and that's, that's one of the problems that we, we experience the most here in Nigeria. Because everybody wants, everybody, make this cloth for me. Let it be dope. But then you, you don't want to pay dope money. money. <laughs> so where am I going to go? How am I going to make a dope cloth without a dope money? Okay. You know, so that, that, that's just, that's that. So um, you can find a balance um, between cost and looks, but many a times it's always difficult. You, you, you might always end up having something cheaper um, that, would not look le that would not look as elegant as you wanted. Okay, so recently, um, let's talk about you now. Recently, you, you won a prize from the British Council mm -hmm. for the country. Mm -hmm. Tell us about that. Um, it's um, a program called um, um, Nigerian Creative Enterprise Program. For it's, It was hosted by the British Council um, with the Assembly Nigeria and um, Fashion Foundry UK. Um, now, uh, it took a total of 11 weeks. Um, there were, I think, about over 3,000 applicants. Wow. And um, we went through processes and interviews, and, and we came down to a final 10. And somehow we made it through. And 
we were still among the people that won the prize. Now, um, what I would say about that is, it still boils down to understanding that we've been doing the business of fashion. So for me, it was more about the clothes, more about the art, you know. But this program taught me that apart from the art, you need to make money, you need to eat. You need to, you know, you need to be like a very, very good baby boy. If it's kind of art you have, you should, you should, your art should match your standard of living. And yes, that, that was one of the major things about the program and it's been very enlightening. Um, they did an amazing job. Um, they, they drilled us. It was not easy. It, it was crazy. At some points we cried, we were, we were frustrated. But yes, it, it was all worth it. It was part of the process. And by the time we were done with the process, yes, I'm, I'm happy. So quickly, in a minute, just tell me, what are your oncoming projects? What should we expect from Tochi Gala? In 2019 especially? Uh, 2019 is looking good. Um, I'm working on a couple of projects, a couple of movements. Um, I, I, I will be updating you as I'm, as I'm, as I'm, <laughs> as I'm doing them. So but yes, ju ju just keep your eyes crossed. For okay, Tochugala. thank you so much. And we've had um, Tochu Gala with us on the show. How can people fo follow you on social media? Uh, my, uh, my Instagram, Adioha underscore NG. You can follow us on Instagram and uh, um, our website is, is almost done as well. So yes, okay. it's Instagram for now. Thank you so much, Tochi, Thank you for, for being on the me. show with me today. To enjoy more of this, our Ugonke videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.